My match day preparation uh, obviously depends on where I am. If we've been riding like day before or if something like that. But like a, a normal day for me is, is wake up, go for a short run, easy, or maybe a short bike ride. Have some breakfast, uh, have, a, have a bread roll with a little bit of Nutella um, and just relax, take a shower and uh, get ready for, for my team to, to pick me up or if we're racing in Chester Hover then uh, I'm driving to the track myself. I like routines and I try to, um, I try to stick to the, the same food. Normally I would either have, um, have some pasta or I'll have some, some chicken, rice and vegetables. I do have some rituals. There's a, a few certain things I like to do, um, but I like I like to keep them to myself. I don't want to talk too much about them. But we all we all have different rituals and a certain way we do things. How we we set things up in the pit, like what side the table is on, how the goggle box is standing, and uh, like how your your bidons are standing and water bottles. And not it, we all have like maybe a little bit of OCD or special ways we do stuff. And 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 I have the same. I don't want to say I'm relaxing so much before the match. Uh, you know, two hours, two hours before the match, I try to to get into the race zone, into my own little bubble, and start focusing on uh, what I'm gonna do out on track. Um, sometimes I listen to music. Other times I, I don't listen to music. Um, that that thing is a little bit 50-50. It all depends um, how I feel. You know, if I feel a little bit tired, I'll I'll tend to put some some music in my ears. That's a little fast to, to get me going and, and wake myself up a little bit. Um, but other than that, I, I take it pretty relaxed. I try not to overthink and overfocus too much and just go out there and do what I know I can do best. Uh, before match, I tend to listen to either rap or like some house EDM fast music. Uh, I feel like that gets me more focused. I have some uh, some stretching routines I do when I'm getting changed. Um, also, I I juggle uh, juggle a little bit before the the match to kind of sharpen my 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 reflex for the start. Uh, but other than that, they're pretty basic. You know, maybe a, a little easy run up and down the the parking here and. Um, you know, making sure that all my joints, my shoulders, my, my hips and, and everything is like nice and warm and, uh, and loose. Obviously we have our systems and um, they've been like that for a few years. So, so my team, they know what they need to do and they all have uh, different areas of responsibilities. You know, one guy is responsible for for one thing on the bike and another guy is responsible for another thing. Um, but like we have our systems and you know there's a, the chief mechanic and there's the second mechanic and then I have my manager who is probably more, his focus is more on, on working with me and, and, and talk with me and listen to what I say and then obviously the communication with, the, with my mechanics. But uh, we have, we have a systems, everyone has systems and uh, yeah, I don't think our systems are so different from everyone else's. Obviously, uh, traveling to, to match days, um, we usually go in, in my big sprints and not the small one like today. But uh, on match days, we always have free bikes in the van, you know, spare part boxes, extra things if there uh, should be a crash or something like that, an extra engine and, you know, helmets, goggle boxes, Kevlar's and, and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's, it's pretty basic, it's boring, I know, but it's, it's not that much uh, interesting stuff in the van. You know, we have the bikes, we have the, the equipment I need to use, my helmets, my goggles, Kevlar's, all this kind of stuff. Uh, obviously, there is, there is um, a filled up fridge with drinks and, and snacks and stuff for, for the match, uh, but other than that, it's just four guys in a van listening to some, some good music and trying to have fun. Obviously in the pit it's important to have, you know, drinks with uh, electrolytes. It's important to have sugar as well. Some people they prefer having a chocolate bar, some people have bananas. 
Some people have gummies. Um, I have a little bit of everything. I always have a chocolate bar, an energy bar, energy gel, and I also have uh, some, some sweets, some candies in there to make sure my, my blood sugar is high and energy is high as well. So obviously after the match we, we try to we try to talk about things as fast as possible uh, while it's still fresh. We will take the find the negatives, what was not working, and then we will try find the positive, which was working good, um, and you know try to find out what are we gonna do in the future, what are we not gonna do again.